Every year, there's millions of birds that will migrate from South America to North America. They will migrate all the way to Yucatan, and from Yucatan, they will fly across the Gulf of Mexico through the state of Louisiana. So nearly the entire eastern North American population of those birds and many species of the western population will actually come through this forest here. Pipelines like the one BioBridge wants to put in the Chafala Basin contributes to the destruction of these habitats. Historically, this basin, the majority of it was covered with water. You, you know, it had some high natural ridges, but the swamp was pretty much at a certain constant level, and, and the water would cover it almost year round. And now it had been built up to the point to where you have high hills and high ground in areas that should be covered with water. Over these past five decades, all of this sand and sediment has been channeling into the interior of the basin. And it's, we, we're losing all kind of deep water habitat for all of the different creatures who live in the basin. They're laying pipes 10 to 15 feet above the natural swamp floor of all of those natural bayous because they have filled in with sediment. And are you losing all of that habitat because of this, this interference? It's taking away the wealth of the swamps that we have in Louisiana at the same time that we need this sand on the coast to protect us from hurricanes. The pipeline company should be held accountable. They should need to clean this up. They need to move this sediment and they need to move it down to the coast where it could be of more use. Not only is the Atchafalaya Basin an important migratory bird habitat, but it also serves a very important function of containing floodwaters from the Mississippi River. Behind me, the basin is filling in. You've got major accretion and sedimentation. This is in the northern part of Lake Zedrick. And as the water bottom is elevating, we're losing the ability of the basin to contain those floodwaters. And that threatens all the coastal towns in Louisiana, from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to Lafayette. It's important that we fix the mess left behind like all of these fall banks that are left behind from this existing pipeline right away. And it's important that we don't allow it to continue to happen because we're pretty much running out of habitat to survive, survive in, you know, as far as our survival and all of the fishery and all of the creatures that live and survive in the Jafalai Basin. Uh, this tree right here, I'm sure it's probably a thousand years old or older. According to where they're proposing to put this new pipe, this tree is probably going to be cut out of the way. It's probably going to be cut and just grinded down to nothing, nothing left. My boys, they'll, they'll never see it the way I was able to see it or the way their grandfather was able to see it. You know, everybody knows you leave something better than what you found it. You know, you, you, don't, you don't trash an area and leave it worse than what it was when you got to it. And that's not what we're doing with the basin, you know. We got to leave it better than what we found it. If only the oil companies and the pipeline companies would work and operate in that way, we'd be left with a better world. <laughs>